as and all without having to actually bake this operation directly into um, her body and, and being forced to be just frozen with this figure um, with this expression on her face um, and then of course you can blend these morphs uh, multiple morphs together at the same time so we can do fear and a glare at the same time um, to kind of sort of uh, create a unique look and this is all driven by um, the fact that these poses are actually basically um, if we go ahead and hide more of me here um, in the editor view and turn on like say angry her angry pose um, and uh, to make this easier what we'll do is we'll actually drag it out of the hierarchy here and we'll just drag it up and by itself and uh, as you can see this is actually a mesh without any skin or tags applied to it that basically has this pose and what Cinema 4D is able to do with this uh, pose mor morph tag is it's able to take those poses and it's able to generate a morph or it's able to it's able to morph between the base pose that you generate and um, and these poses alright beautiful um, to give you a better example I'm going to come in here right click on the mesh and this is actually a character tag uh, we'll create a pose morph tag and uh, the pose morph tag starts out here by asking you what you want to mix um, what do you want to save when you create poses and uh, position is uh, one of one of the main things we can actually save our own user data um, as well as parameters from uh, deformers applied to the mesh um, we can uh, we can change the scale and the rotation we can also uh, do different things like uh, perhaps create a blood splotch by uh, animating our UVs our, our texture by animating our texture maps great once you've got some of those selected um, the tag actually comes up tag option actually comes up and shows you your base uh, pose and your first pose you can add new poses for different things and um, then you can actually come in here with like pose zero selected and uh, you can actually use your move tools to you can use your selection tools to select some polygons and you can use your move tools to actually move those different polygons in different ways probably would be better using deformers but um all in all that will allow you to create your poses and you can just create uh, create different poses um, if you were if you're doing your own poses excellent so we'll go ahead and delete this tag we don't need it um, and that's the pose morph tag and that's pretty much everything that comes uh, with Daz. Daz kind of sort of gets you off to the races and running really fast. It gives you um, gives you a nice UV map immediately um, that you can actually start painting in body paint. Um, uh, if we come into our 3D modeling folder here in Windows Explorer and we go into our importing from Daz and uh, we go to our FBX and we go to our images. We've even got our texture maps. We can add scars and uh, use uh, Photoshop colorization and hues and saturations and different things to change up our materials. Um, it even comes with some bump maps. So we could actually uh, you know, come in with these bump maps and actually go ahead and apply them you know, instead of using our own bump map, so we can come to skin torso here, and it doesn't have a bump map yet, so we can go ahead and add a bump map, and we can click on our texture here, and we can find a uh, Kira Torso BU for bump, and click No to add it to the texture path, and you know now we've got um, Daz's own generated bump bump map for us, um, which is great. 
so yeah um you know process usually takes me you know um all of only like three to five minutes to get all the textures uh coordinated and get the scene set up and get a nice basic visualization going um and uh once it's saved out you can export from cinema 4d now as an fbx and uh you know quickly get off to the races and um and your further pipelines all right so yeah this has been Eldrin with uh la Silamir, and this has been a uh, multi-app workflows um Look forward to future tutorials um, over the course of next month and uh, pretty much over the course of um, from now till uh, Ad Infinitum uh, about uh, you know my production workflow um, as I as I hop between different applications and I basically take the uh, the best from them and use them to uh, you know compose uh, animated uh, short films and. Uh, motion graphics and things like that uh, I'm looking forward to uh, having you guys follow me uh, through this journey um, you know it took me a good year or two of, uh, of just going through the internet and just combing through dozens of tutorials to uh, you know accumulate all this knowledge and it, it's gonna be nice to be able to share it with the community and um, allow you guys to get the jump start that you know I wasn't able to get you know um, it's an exciting time for 3d um, people are getting sponsored on YouTube, Vimeo, uh, Blamo with uh, Sync and uh, VGHS, and um, you know things are just just getting really exciting. Uh, regular regular average Joes are able to now create beautiful content that used to be the domain of only higher end uh, studios like uh, Pixar or Disney. Um, these are great times. Uh, all that's uh, left is your imagination, and um, I'm going to try to make it easier for you so that um, your skill is never going to be a burden. Um, it's never going to be your skill in a 3D software application or uh, you missing a feature or the ability to use it that's going to stop you from being able to create great content. All right, guys. Um, follow me on Twitter. Um, and uh, subscribe to my channel um, and, and just stay tuned. I'm um, looking forward to your feedback. Uh, I know I was rambling a lot. Uh, this one went on a little long. Um, I hope in the future as I start to create more of these um, you know we can get right to the point, get right in, um, get things done and uh, you know just uh, just get to learning and get to creating. Alright guys, take care.